Hello everyone. Now today I have the opportunity to change out the tube in my laser. So I figured I'd make a how-to. Even though they do send you instructions, I'm going to make the how-to based off of the instructions. So that helps. The very first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that our machine is turned off and unplugged. There's nothing worse than a random electrical charge that screws everything up. Now, they don't mention this, but I'm going to. Um, just to have space to work back here, we need to go ahead and take off our exhaust port and our air assist hose just to get it out of our way. Now, you can take it off two different ways. You can either take these four screws out or you can use a flathead right here and just pop it off. Now, it's metal to metal, so you can kind of force it to slide it back. Now, once we get done with that, we can start with step two of their uh, instructions, which are facing the back panel of the machine. That's me here. Remove the nine screws using a Phillip head screwdriver on the back panel. Now, this is going to be the only tool we need to do the entire thing here. So, nine screws we've got down here eight well, looky there there were only eight and their instructions say nine epilogue you have a typo now the laser tube itself we're going to go ahead and set these screws off someplace safe where they won't be in the way the tube itself is this right here Hello, Max. Now, we'll start on the left by disconnecting this gray cable. And it's a simple push button, just like a phone cord. It's an Ethernet. We'll unplug it. We'll scooch it off to the side here. Then after that, we've got a red and black wire on the left side of the laser, right here. If I can get to the harness, it's up under here. See, it's screwed in here, but to disconnect it, you'll actually just pop this out. There, that's done. And move on to the next thing that we're disconnecting. And that's going to be the red dot pointer located on the right side of the laser tube. It's a small black and red wire that comes off of it right here. And you'll notice that it's just another clip down here. You should push the button. And it's out. We're already on page two, guys. Now, locate the Phillipette screw with the green ring around it. <clears throat> and for me to do that, I've got to get down here. And I'll show it to you. There are three now the green is right here and then there are three other screws that hold it in this slider here that doesn't ever come out and then down here you've got another one that's green and another one here that's green now all three of those are going to be loosened and taken out
once these are all loose, it can slide on that pin that doesn't get removed. These cables like to be in the way, so make sure you pull them out of the way. Once you slide it back, it'll pop right off. Once you can get one side out, this will slide just like this. And there we have it, our heat sinks and everything on top. This one has been taken out. Now, I'm going to take my air assist, well, my air nozzle, and blow out all of this accumulated dust that's in the machine. I'll do that while everything's turned off. And I'm going to go and get the new laser tube that's going to be put back in in just a minute. Now we have our brand new tube and we're going to install it basically just by reversing the order in which we do the steps. So first we'll slide it in. We'll put it up on that pin and slide it forward. Oh, there's something that wasn't on there. We kind of want our laser to shoot. We have to remove and discard the coating above this last glass here. screws in nice and snug and I'm just gonna double check there's no give here see there was a little bit don't want it to have any give here so we'll double check and hand snug these again we don't over tighten we don't want to risk breaking it okay then after that we're gonna step around we're gonna tuck this cable behind and this is for the laser pointer There's enough room when it's behind. Get your hand on it. And there, that's done. <coughs> then after that, we switch back to the main red cable here. That's done. We're going to go ahead and tuck this all back in underneath the machine here. And then finally, the Ethernet clip goes right back there. And just like that, we are reassembled. Everything's good. Now, since it's a new tube, we're going to have to go in and we're going to adjust and focus and align the machine. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and close up the back. I remember this uh, actually does have a pinch clip right here. So once you put it on, you lift it up and push in and then slide down. And that hooks it where it's not going to go anywhere. Then we'll return the eight screws that, that we took out.
Now that we've taken the side panel off, you want to get your alignment tool that should have come with your machine. You're going to click it in right here on the head of the machine. Make sure it's nice and flat. And then you're just going to turn on your laser pointer. Now, we've got a good start. I already had my machine aligned pretty well. But as you can see, we're dead on for the target here. But that's not the only place that we do our measurements. I don't think you can see that. Can you see that dot? Yeah, you can see the dot. <coughs> okay. So, we test in the top left corner. And we make sure our XY is off. And we bring it over to the bottom left corner. And you see the bottom left corner, we are up. And we're over to the right. So, we need to adjust. Now it's time for us to adjust our mirrors. And doing the alignment is a whole lot of tiny, tiny adjustments. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust here, bring it back to center, and then here, bring it back down. Okay, that gives us perfect in this one corner, but we're not going to be perfect in every other corner. So, all of these have to be tiny, tiny adjustments. And by tiny, I mean, I don't know, maybe a thirtieth of a twist per. And the goal here is to get inside all the dots. Ooh, that just shot way off. Okay, this, this front left is still perfect. But we're slightly to the left and low on the right side. So then we're going to come over here. Now there are three holes that we adjust here, three axes for this mirror. There are also three here that we adjust. And that's where we're going to go now. And we basically just go back and forth, back and forth through the whole deal until we get it right where we want it to be. In the center, in the center circle, on all four spots. We're good, but I want to show you. So we're going to step and look at each one separately. So you can see where we are here. We're inside that center circle. Let's see if you can still see it over here. Okay, still inside the circle, although we are on the top right of it. But we're in the circle, so that's all that matters. And then spot three, we're in the circle there. And then spot four, we're still in the circle there. So we have effectively aligned our machine at this point. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and shut everything down, put the backpack on, and my machine's ready to run and make us all some money. So, I want to thank you. Oh, look at the junk on that, boy. Yucky. Look at that.
I want to thank you for checking out my videos. And hopefully, they've been at least a little bit of help to you.